Hello people, it's the Moonlight Soldier, and, well, today's going to be a different video. It's not going to be a, uh, a, uh, update of what's going on, or countdown, or a let's play or anything, but actually, a story. A story of mine, by which you can tell is a creepypasta. So, yeah, warning, it's obviously going to be a horror story. Uh, for those of you who are uncomfortable with these kind of stories, then you may want to stop watching now. Looking online, there's so many creepypasta stories about Pokemon on the web, it's almost a cult classic thing now. However, reading through through them made me recall my own experience with the Pokemon game, or related to it at the very least. Like many before me, I was also an avid Pokemon fan, owning a copy of Pokemon, read, and playing it whenever I had the chance, which was when my bigger brother wasn't playing it. Of the three starter Pokemon, none of us ever chose Bulbasaur, always Squirtle, my choice, or Charmander. When I played, I always tried to play like Ash, find a Pikachu, and a Pidgey, and a Caterpie, and when I, found a, when I found a Metapod, I'd catch it, then forget about it when I evolved my Caterpie, which obviously had more skills available due to it being trained from a Caterpie. After which, I would play my game as I normally did. However, one night I was up particularly late while playing. When I turned it off and went to sleep, I had a very bizarre dream. I dreamt I was, well playing my Pokemon game, as usual. <laughs> I was wandering through tall grass outside the entrance to Mount Moon when I encountered a random battle. What I encountered was something I could only call a Bulbapod. It was a Bulbasaur wrapped in bandages, almost like a mummy, and instead of a bulb on its back, it had a Metapod. The Metapod was facing away from me and wrapped up in bandages as well, attached to the Bulbasaur half. As I looked at it, at this point I had become the actual trainer in my game, but I still saw everything as the monochrome 8 bit style of the game. It looked back at me with these big dead eyes. I can remember them easily large, not bloodshot, but soul piercing red eyes without any eyelid. One of the Bulbasaur, one on the Metapod, and they both stared me down. After recovering, I called out my Pikachu and used Thundershock, which dropped it in one hit. After that, I merely shrugged and moved on. After passing through Mount Moon, just outside of Cerulean City, I encountered the Bulbapod again. Once again calling Pikachu, this time I tried to catch it. However, the Pokeball didn't even make contact. A bandage whipped it away. After that, text Bulbasaur used Vine Whip came up. I see bandages shoot up and mummify my Pikachu. The chocolate scene made my dream more real than I wanted, as now I was in the world of Pokemon. I ran over and grabbed my Pikachu as it lay there dying in my arms. I got up and fled Cerulean as fast as I could, watching as Pikachu's eyes slowly closed. Sprinting into the Pokemon Center, I immediately got Pikachu into the clinic, but by then he had died. I remember the text box reading Pikachu has died. Then the Pokemon list came up and Pikachu's avatar wasn't moving. I just looked at my Pikachu still in my arms. Another text box appeared saying Pikachu is revived. Once again, my dream took me into the Pokemon team. The avatar was moving at half the speed it normally did, and when I looked at its image, it was wrapped in bandages, one eye covered, the other the same dead, red, soul-piercing eye the Bulbapod had. It just glared at me, but did nothing. I put the Pikachu back in my Pokeball and hit it off when I encountered a trainer. We initiated a fight, and I called out my, new, my now undead Pikachu, and noticed a new attack called Mummify. I went to choose Thundershock, but Pikachu used Mummify and the trainer's Pokemon was wrapped up. And then a text came up saying the trainer's Pokemon died. When the trainer came up, Pikachu again used Mummify and killed the trainer. In a horrifying twist, the trainer transformed into another Bulbapod. I called out my Pidgey to fight, but it got drop but it got the drop on me and mummified my Pidgey too. At this point I just ran. As I did, I saw trainers vanishing one by one, replaced with Bulbapods. Eventually, I was cornered. I called out Squirtle, but even he knew it was of little use. Bulbasaur was a plant type, and this undead creature was part Bulbasaur. They attacked my Squirtle next. As they did, and jumped, I jumped forward to try and stop them, but they snatched him away and mummified him too. Then they all stared at me, as if this was revenge for all the times I abandoned Bulbasaur and Metapod. They shot their bandages at me, they had wrapped me up. As I looked up, a bubble pod stared me right in the face. Face to face. With its undead eyes. A bandage covered my face. And I woke up. 
quickly turned my Pokemon game on, and for a split second I thought I saw Bulba on the title screen, but it wasn't. Just a dream. That's all it was.